Well, welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. Well, today we're out here working on a person's property and uh, working on something and the water's not working right. So we came over here and of course, on the chlorine the bladder tank, five, which is what, May, they had a new well put in. Well, people go ahead and charge them for putting a new bladder tank in. Well, the problem now is the pressure switch down here. And the last well and pump was down there for like 20 years. And what actually happened, if I can get it on camera, is the contacts in here. Come on, cooperate. The contacts down in here are burnt up. So, I mean, they got them for thousands of dollars, about five grand to go ahead and pull the well, put a pump in, put a tank in, but didn't replace the $40 pressure switch. In the process of doing this, they want to be able to run the well, and that's what this video is about. They want to run the well if the grid's down to water livestock, everything else from the generator. So, what we figured out, we put this name of plug, plug, plug and receptacle, see if I can get my mouth working right in the line and this is where it comes from the house and goes into the pressure switch and let me show you what all this amounts to well here's the generator they want to run it with it's a 9,000 watt more than enough power um not maintained because uh battery's dead so it does uh Take some effort, but here's the plug we're after. Now this is a 20 amp, but it's only 110. This one right here is the 220 plug, same thing. Ground, neutral, hot and hot. Um, so basically, they have this great big power cord here, and they would then stick this plug, their plug, into here. And then the well pump will plug into this end right here. Okay. Well, here is the receptacle end and the plug end. And I don't matter if I got these at the big box store or ordered them off of Amazon or something. But they are basically, let's see where the number is here, is a NEMA 14-30P, which is a... 30 amp for the plug and a come on focus focus an 1114 r and 30 amp and one for the receptacle which is the plug and receptacle end and we went with this let me show you the generator and you first match it up with the generator and come this way with it so now you see what the generator looks like on this power cord this would plug into the generator and you would have the receptacle end sticking off the generator, which would then go into the plug end. Well, here it is in the well. We've got the plug. So, of course, the power cord from the generator will plug into this one. And right now, it would be running off the generator. Of course, male, female coming from the generator has got to hook up this way. The other thing about this is, this is the end coming from the house. Should the power come back on, it's just the plug in and nobody's going to get shocked or anything because the plug is just sitting here, whether it's alive or not. And at this point in time, whether the power comes back on, this is completely isolated from the house. You don't have to worry about the generator back feeding anything. If you are hesitant to the least bit about this, just Find out what your generator is, your power cord, buy a cord, have it made, and just hire an electrician to come and cut this wire, put these two plugs in, the plug and receptacle end on it. Um, that's all it is. May have to find an older electrician because all the all the young ones around here, if you call them up, I don't know anything about a generator. I don't work on generators. I said, well, it's not a generator, it's just a power cord. They really don't want to learn anything new. They do what they do, and 
they have no interest in trying to become worldly or knowledgeable. So find an older electrician that can do it. You may have somebody at your church or neighborhood can do it. It's not that big a thing. Let me show you the back ends of the plug. So here's the receptacle end. Same thing. You got four wires here. And this quarter will have four because it has a neutral. A well has two hot lines and a ground. And the two hot lines are this one, this one. The ground is the one with that funny hook on it. So you get it in the plug and receptacle the right direction. But I don't know if you can tell it. Here it is. One has a W that says for white. You got a X and a Y for the two hot ones. And here's you got a green one for the ground. So on a well, you hook the ground wire here and uh, two hot lines over here. But like I said, if you're least hesitant, get an electrician to do it. It's not a big hard thing. But this is so, like I said, if the power goes down, they can run this well. They can water the livestock. They can fill up tanks, buckets, whatever they need to do. Then take the generator back up to the house and go ahead and keep on living until the power comes on. But as usual, if you ever have questions or answers or uh, questions or need answers, contact me. The email's at the bottom. Uh, it's kind of what we do. Um, I do consults. I do come out. I do charge for it um, by the hour. And But I'll help you over the Internet. Send me pictures, and we'll go from there. Be more than glad to help you. And as usual, like, share, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.